Hi ladies, it's Wednesday. I've got my cuppa and I've got a few things I want to talk about. So if you're ready, grab a cuppa, let's catch up. First up, let's talk about exosomes. They are everywhere. I am seeing them listed as ingredients in skincare, pharmaceuticals, uh, aesthetics and also cosmetics. Now, I can really get behind exosomes in skincare and aesthetics, but honestly, cosmetics, I'm not so sure. So first of all, I wanted to chat about exosomes. They are absolutely fantastic. So when you see them in skincare, they are there to help the body or the cells produce collagen. Originally, exosomes were discovered to help with healing. And 90% of our skincare, you may or may not know, comes from this type of research. Because when our body is in a healing mode, it produces collagen. Hence the reason microneedling works. And exosomes work in a similar way that they are messengers helping the body to produce collagen. Exosomes can be found in human stem cells. They can also equally be found in uh, plant-based materials. So that's exosomes. But I just wanted to say, be careful with the whole buzzword. I have seen exosomes around for about four years. But honestly, when you see it in a lipstick, I think, come on, what are we doing? What are we actually paying for? The other thing I wanted to chat about was vitamin D. I actually feel in the winter time, I get really low. Now I know last week I was talking about how my vibration had been knocked off, but the truth is when the sun is a little shy and in the UK at the moment, it gets dark about 4.30, I mean really dark then it really obviously impacts our vitamin D because obviously we get it naturally from sunlight. However, through the winter, I saw a report that from October until March in the UK and probably the Northern Hemisphere, we are being advised to take daily doses of vitamin D supplements. But what a lot of us girls don't realize is vitamin D doesn't just help with your mental health and your emotional well-being. It really protects against osteoporosis and your muscles. It, in fact, it's so important for our whole body. But did you know you also need to take vitamin K? Now, vitamin K, the highest natural source of vitamin K, comes from eggs. Now, did you know that? Um, not everybody knows that, I know. And if you do know it, please don't think I'm being patronizing, but I think it's super important to know that one of the greatest protein sources, but also the richest source of vitamin K is from eggs. Now, you can get supplements, of course. You do need to think about the quantity and quality of your vitamin D that you're taking. I know that it's advisable not to take beyond 4,000 units or, um, yeah, the I units of vitamins, but of vitamin D, but do have a think about what you need for your body and do your research because I am not a dietitian. I'm not going to advise you on how many units of vitamin D you should be taking. I know some people take up to 10,000 units, but it is obviously important to be careful because too much vitamin D can lead to a calcium buildup in your body. So that's one thing that I wanted to talk about. Dark days or short days, dark winter nights, getting our daily dose of vitamin D. Now I am going to look at one of those sunlight canopies because I've heard that they work really, really well to have the same type of effect in the body Certainly, I don't think it's going to have the same vitamin D effect, but it has the same mood elevating effect. Have you ever used one of those? One of those daylights, those lamps that help elevate your melatonin and help um, help just make you feel better. Um, yeah, I'd be super interested to hear from you about that. Did I say melatonin? Did I mean melatonin? What did I mean? You can tell me. Um, so vitamin D, you need vitamin K. Remember that girls. And talking about vitamin K, vitamin K is a superpower under the eyes. Now I have an eye cream. I don't have it today to show you, but it's by a Spanish brand and it is called their uh, under eye K serum. It is sensational. It really helps with dark pigmentation 
and of course the vitamin K element is also stimulating collagen. What else did I want to talk about? I wanted to talk about an honest, honest, being transparent how I've fallen off of my sugar-free wagon. I find it really hard in the winter time to stay sugar-free. I did so well in the, in the spring and the summer, even with travel, I was doing so well not eating any refined sugars, no carbs, no what I mean crappy carbs is what I would call them. Um, however, the last month has been a real uphill struggle when it comes to choosing healthy options. So I just wanted to say if you're struggling like me because of the dark nights, the winter drawing in, all of the supermarket shelves are now packed with delicious seasonal tasty treats. It's almost impossible. So I just wanted to give you um, a little permission slip that it's okay every now and then if we do have a little fall off the wagon. At the end of the day, we're human girls. And sometimes a little bit of comfort eating is exactly what we need. The other thing I wanted to share with you is this. Now, you have seen this brand. This is Dr. Stur Barbara Sturm. It is one of the most expensive skincare brands out there. I got this in a sample pot or pack and it is her um, face cream. It's a molecular version of her face cream packed with beautiful natural and mineral ingredients. Absolutely gorgeous. Doesn't really smell of anything. It's, you know, touted as being the one. I really don't like it. There you go. Skincare expert, and I'm going to tell you that I really don't like it. You know why? It pills. It pills so badly. I look like I am shedding another skin. I don't like it under makeup. I don't like it without makeup. I have to say I will use it. I will use it at night and nothing else. It feels really like an average moisturizer. In fact, I'd say it's not quite as sticky as Nivea, but it's along those lines. And you remember that hoo-ha? And if you haven't heard this story, let me know, girls. I would love to share this with you, that Creme de la Mer and Nivea are pretty much close sisters. I mean, that is a sensational story. I'll talk to you about that. This, I don't feel, has anything special, anything special at all. And I'm sorry if you're a Dr. Barbara Sturm fanatic, maybe it's just this one, but literally if I rub it and then if I touch my face, I am, the flakes are coming off. So let me know if you found that. And also let me know if you want to hear the creme de la mer and Nivea comparison. That's super interesting. We're such suckers, aren't we? I mean, well, we're taken for such suckers, I think. That's the trouble, you know, you get to over 50 and I think that they think we're desperate for anything that's going to reduce a wrinkle or a line or a sag. Uh, new find this week, this Aveeno Skin Relief. Now I know it's not new to probably a lot of you. It's new to me. This is a body oil spray, instantly nourishes very dry, sensitive skin smooth, even skin in just one week. It's got oat oil and it has jojoba oil. And I got this for my legs, which are very, very dry at the moment. I think it's a part of my menopause. My legs, have, my lower legs are super, super dry. This has been a game changer, fabulous. I just like this because it's a spray. It's super easy to use and I thought I would share that with you. I'm always on the lookout for things that are as natural as possible, as clean as possible, and as effective as possible. And finally, girls, oh my goodness, this stuff. So I'm on a K-Beauty deep dive. In fact, I'm totally geeking out, but that's the skin teacher expert in me that just wants to know the science behind the stuff. This, this is by a brand called D'Alba. I, oops, I absolutely love it. I have destroyed the box, but it is K-Beauty. So this is a Korean beauty brand. It is their Italian truffle rich serum spray. It is an incredible, incredible, luxurious feeling spray that you simply shake and you spray any time of the day or night 
or if you're like me, oh my gosh, the smell, it's just divine. It's divine. Natural ingredients. That's the basis of K-Beauty is that they are really clean. They use plant-based, pretty much most of them are vegan. So there's no animal oils like lanolin or anything like that in there. Spray the mist three to five times, mix the layers and you just keep your eyes closed and you can spray and it absorbs over makeup, under makeup. It is absolutely sensational. Read the reviews. I've got a few K Beauty bits to try because I really, really, I'm excited about it. I mean, you've seen me talk about this, this one here, which is Japanese. So it seems that those beautiful women in the east of the world, they really know their stuff. And I feel like I've been missing out on the whole K Beauty thing. Let me know if you've tried anything. The other thing that I've tried from K or Korea, if you like, is this. This is the Aborian. Um, range. I love this. This is a CC cream. And the other K-Beauty bit that I love is this. I know I kind of mention it pretty much every week, but there aren't very many under eye actives that I can use because my eyes get irritated. This is House of Josen. It is probably one of the most famous Korean brands, but this is their ginseng and retinol under eye serum, but I use it all over my face and neck as well. My neck I can't tolerate any tretinoin, it, it just flares up. But this, I absolutely can and I love it. So, don't really like this, do really like this and absolutely bloody love this. Girls, what a fabulous, fabulous roundup this week. Do let me know if you've tried Barbersturm and if it had the same impact on you. Just really not impressed and lots of pilling. And let me know if you've tried the Italian truffle oil. Well, it's not an oil, it is a spray serum and it is not oily. You have to give it a shake, can you see? So you give it a really good shake and then you spray, uh, it says five to 10 times. I must spray it around about 25 times a day. It's amazing. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little catch up. So it's been great seeing you this lovely Wednesday. Cheers to you. Have a fabulous rest of the week and I'll see you on Saturday. Bye for now.